book to us. Come on, Hamza. But he didn't do that. Instead, he sent a book to a prophet who then becomes the one who explains the book. So this explanation is also important for us. Because when God says pray, and if he then told you, you pray like this, you know, this is what you say, this is what you do, this Quran would not be about this much. This is just about prayer. What about every other thing? This compendium would be so big, so encyclopedic, that too massive. So the Quran is the guidance which is then explained and elaborated by the explanation of the Prophet. So the Hadith is necessary. And the Quran says, he does not speak of his own self. He is only a revelation sent to him. وَمَا يَنْتِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَى إِنْ هُوَا إِلَّا وَحْنُ يُوْهَا This is what the Quran says. But it also is inspired. That's why a Muslim Oh man, it's good. It's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. Whatever the Quran talks about the prophet's actions is from the speech of God. Besides that, all what he said is from the Quran's teaching. All he does show in the actions in the books of the Quran. He's multiple. Oh, yeah, he's multiple. And he's multiple. He's multiple. He's multiple. He's multiple. Moral. He's multiple. 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 He's Person who from Bukhara, so he's called Bukhari. Like you have Scotland, someone from Scotland, Scotland. Okay. When he was collecting hadith, he was so strict that he once so is that him, if I'm not mistaken, that one person that he was collecting hadith from, that he had apparently he knows what Professor Islam said. He's got this chain of transmission. So he was calling his horse or his camel. You know, like this. That means there's food in here, grains. And guess what? He found out there was nothing. He was tricking the horse or the camel to come to him. He did not take that person's hadith. He says, if he can trick the camel, he can trick humans and lie about the prophet. So this is even how in the actions of the narrators were looked into. We have a whole biographical literature of the people who narrated this hadith. The community 
testified of them, whether they were liars, had a good memory or a bad one, whether they suffered memory loss in the old age or not, whether they actually meet their teachers or not. So based on this you know, whole science of hadith, we authenticated our hadith in terms of authentic and fabricated, different categories. Sahih, Hassan, Gharib, Daif, Maudu, and various other kinds, right? So, there are many collections of hadith books. Bukhari and Muslim, for example, or Muatta of Imam Malik, they are authentic collections. There are some other collections, they are mixed, but the, they will tell you category of this um, hadith. This hadith is weak. This hadith is sound. This hadith is, for example, fabricated. So we have a collections of hadith works collecting all the fabricated hadiths, which we should not even follow because these are people from people who are liars. Yeah. And how do you know? How do you um, separate which ones are fabricated? By the scholars who have done this work. Yeah. So that's why we as Muslims, we don't have to say, oh, how do I know which hadith is right or not? The scholars over the centuries have done this work for us, written and transmitted this knowledge. So it's easier for us to say, okay, this is the authentic collection of hadith and these are not. So these people who, some people who don't believe in the hadith, obviously they throw the baby with the bath water. Would you throw the baby with the bath water because the bath water is, there's some dirt in it? Think about it, of course you don't. So you as a person who is neutral, ask yourself, is it important for you, for me, you, to know about who I should really worship and how I should worship. Because you and I will die one day. That's a given fact. When you and I die, that's a one-way ticket. We won't come, come back again. We won't come back. If we have a purpose in life... If you are a person that, let's just say, you believe in God, but not, not necessarily in Muslim, yeah. where do, what's your views on that? Where do you yeah. go from that? Um, you have to think about this question quite broadly. If someone who has heard and understood the message of Islam, heard about Prophet Muhammad and knowingly rejected him, knowingly rejected him, then they will not have salvation in hereafter. Even though they do believe that there is a God. Yeah, yeah. If they rejected him, if they rejected him knowingly, yeah, because what the Quran and the Prophet brings is the final guidance from God with truth and evidence. If you know that's the truth and he rejected it, anyone who does that, then they will not be saved. But if someone doesn't know, someone doesn't know, it's a different scenario altogether. You cannot just say, oh, they're going to go to hell because they don't know. But one thing will be asked for those of people who haven't heard, did you not use your intellect, your God-given intelligence, the akal, the faculty of rationality to, to understand that nothing worthy of worship, no tree is worthy of worship, no man is worthy of worship. Did you use that or not? Yeah? Because you have to go, so I'm just very natural summarizing it. Um, it depends on the state of the people. Now, then, earlier, whether they've heard of the Prophet and the message or not. You can't just simply say one answer to for everyone. So it's a, it's a nuance and a balanced answer to this. So what I would say is, for you, ask yourself, when I die, am I ready to face up my God? Did I fulfill the purpose that I was created for? Did I follow what I was supposed to do? And where was it, what I was supposed to do? Is it what I thought was what God wanted, or God actually revealed it in His final revelation? Did I follow it or not? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too, so please consider sharing and we will bring more videos in the future inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.